So, welcome back to some Plague Territory. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, so, we're going to continue working on clearing out this area, because as soon as we do, we can either do a mission to recruit a new person and move in here, or um, we can just... What, I, no, they, they are the two options. <laughs> they are the only two options. We can either recruit somebody manually ourselves and spend influence or we can wait for a mission to pop up uh so i want to clear out these free play cards now because we've got the hospital set up that's going to make it so much easier to swap out characters and go in like rotation so we've got stone heart stone heart who is a little bit injured but she's doing okay she's got some play cure on her um and I've got a couple of soda bombs just to clear out any sort of gathering zombies that we've got going on. Um, I apologise if I'm a little bit sniffly during this episode. Um, my hay fever's been playing up. And thankfully I don't have to go out of the house for like another week until... No, I don't think I have to leave the house for like another two weeks. <laughs> um, apart from like shopping and stuff. So that's quite nice. Um, but yeah, I went out today and my allergies have been non-stop. I have been snotting everywhere. It's been a wonderful experience. Um, I cannot wait to do it again. But let's see if we can take out a play cart. Um, I'm thinking I might be a little bit risky with Lucy. I've kind of like not hidden the, the fact that I'm not a big fan of her character in our, in my like little roleplay headcanon mind. <laughs> um, in my head she doesn't really fit the bill for like a bandito, bandit kind of like, um, oh god the forward operators. Like a bandit kind of warlord group I guess. She doesn't strike me as the ruthless kind. She's a little bit Carol season 1, you know? She's not quite Carol season 5 or season 4. <laughs> um, and we, we, we could probably try and get her there, but I'm not sure. I would like to deal with the forward operators, though. Travel to where Downey is pinned down. Maybe we could do that after this? Um, there's not the greatest amount of zombies here, to be fair, from the looks of it. I'm just going to have a run around and make sure though, I haven't got my headset on so I can't hear any game audio at the moment. Which, oh god, that was awful. Complete waste of a soda can. Soda can, soda bomb. Soda can bomb. I'm like absolutely exhausted. I've been, <laughs> I've been like out doing stuff for like two days in a row and as somebody who's been heavily introverted for the past four or five years, it's been horrific. <laughs> Like, heavily introverted, I don't do anything, I try my best not to do anything. My comfort zone is here doing YouTube stuff. And, yeah, the past two days have been a lot of exercise, a lot of doing things, it's been awful. I cannot wait to just sort of, like, bunker down for the weekend. <laughs> and just take the weekend to, like, regenerate. And get back into the swing of things. I've been really enjoying State of Decay though. I know that I've been playing a lot of State of Decay with like the Rebirth playthrough and now Lethal um, and now Plague Territories, but I'm not feeling burnt out on it. Like the four, the four maps are kind of like different enough for me to not be bored and role playing and creating like head cannons in my in my own mind and like these little stories that are going on um, in my own head kind of help. Um, so, I'm not really getting bored of playing State of Decay at the moment. I just finished up Batman, which you would have seen... Oh god, uh, the final episode go out yesterday. So that's sorted. Batman's out of the way. Um, I want to get back into recording some Witcher. Um, I did say I was recording Outlast, which is just kind of like a... Ooh, a long-term thing anyway! Oh my days, like I've got no intention of my Outlast stuff going out anytime soon. <laughs> so I'm not bothered about that, I can record and upload that whenever. Is that a screamer? Might just be somebody being loud. Oh, it's definitely a screamer. It wouldn't help me if I had game audio anyway, because my fucking ears plugged up. I thought that maybe I'd like... Oh no! I thought maybe I'd like buggered my ear in some way, and then when my hay fever kicked in, I was like, "Oh no, it, it's definitely just my my hay fever, clogging the old ear holes." 
Ow. Ooh, you bastard. Get off. Stop giving me a hug. Oh, my days. These are not that great. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. There we go. Oh my god, I fucking took myself out a little bit there, but it's fine. Fuck you. Fuck you. I can be a little bit risky because I've got Plague Cure on me. <laughs> and we're only in Nightmare now. But I can feel myself kind of like... After playing Lethal, I can feel myself kind of not taking as many risks. Um, also, as a little bit of an update for the Lethal stuff, uh, you would have seen an episode of Lethal go out yesterday. Um, which was pre-update. I checked post-update. And it doesn't look like I get any of the new features apart from the sidearms. I don't think I get upgradable outposts or landmarks or anything, which I'm completely fine with. At some stage in the future, I will do a lethal plague territory run, um, but I'm just not ready for that at the moment. Like, if you've seen me play lethal regularly, I'm having like a hard time and struggling, and it's taken me a while. Um, but I do plan on getting around to it eventually. Okay, let's go switch character, because Stoneheart's having a bit of a having a bit of an issue. That's one down. I want to try and claim that base this episode, if possible. So we've got two more hearts to take out this episode, uh, and that'll be like what six taken out in total, which is quite a bit. We're like a third of the way there if we manage that. I think we might have a little bit of an issue with doing the Warlord boon, though. I have only ever done the Warlord, like, once. Um, and I don't remember it being easy. <laughs> I don't remember it being easy at all. Uh, okay, where's the... Oh, there's stuff in here to still search. I didn't realise that I hadn't actually searched any of it. Oh, that's awesome. It would be really cool if they generated rucksacks that you had to go pick up every so often. That would be pretty cool. Switch. I want to uh, see if I can snipe that feral. Has he seen me? No, he's just been a little shit. Stop running! Dude! Oh, I might regret trying this. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe I should do this with Lucy. <laughs> Just in case it doesn't go right. Maybe we should do it with Lucy. Okay, let me drop my shit off. Where's the goddamn... Oh, it's here. Uh, I'm such an idiot. Put all of that back. Uh, we're going to put those back as well because there's no point holding on to them for now. Uh, okay, let's switch to Lucy. She's got a mission apparently. Lost and found search for the mace. I'm not going to go looking for the mace. I don't care for the morale dips. I'm not looking for a goddamn mace. Okay, we're going to go for a, a smaller backpack. We've already got a mace. We've got a mace at home. A fencing tool. Get some more bandos on the go. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a first aid kit with me because I'm not gonna actively try and kill her, but like if she dies, she dies, that kind of thing. Um, but I I want to keep her alive until we can at least move into a bigger base. Cause that's kind of the whole point. That counts as a holy shit. Bruh. That counts as a sidearm. I've got a fucking MP5K as a sidearm. That's mental. And then we've got our sexy fucking crossbow. My days. Okay. Uh, I think I've got everything I need. We now just need to deal with this feral. Well, we don't need to deal with the feral, but I would like to deal with the feral. I have missed. Just for the record. I have missed, Your Honor. <laughs> I have missed again. I think I'm hitting the pole. I am. I'm hitting the pole. I have missed. Oh shit. Reload, reload, reload. Take that, you 
There we go. Holy shit. That were a really good shot. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn. Oh my god, her stamina is so bad. I was building a fighting gym back at the house and now I'm kind of regretting it. Maybe we should have done a shooting range. Because I think the fighting range, the fighting gym increases health and the shooting range increases stamina and shooting skill. So now I'm kind of regretting it. I didn't realise she had such low stamina. Is it this? Oh, it is. Oh, no. It's not a very good position, neither. We may be losing Lucy. We may be losing Lucy. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. <laughs> Driving into everything. Okay, let me just roll round and... You know what, I'm not feeling very confident that we will be able to defeat all three of these this episode, but if we can get two, then I will be happy. I want to keep that consistency. <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll recruit somebody else before we move there, like, pretty soon, because all of our people are bruised and battered and beaten up and stuff, so... I kind of feel like it might be worth me recruiting somebody now. We'll, we'll take out we'll take out this play cart and then we'll see how much influence and stuff we've got. We'll review our situation. We're gonna have to take this one a little bit slow. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh god! There's so many zombies. There are so many zombies. Holy shit! Okay, well maybe we're gonna recruit somebody now, <laughs> like right this very fucking minute. Oh, I should have parked up against a fucking surface. I know I'm bad at the game. Get off. You prick. Oh my days, what do we do? What do we do? I should have brought the soda can bombs. I know they wouldn't have done that much, but... Also, like... Just to... Just to... I don't know if it... I thought it was obvious. But if I ever fuck up and, like, drive into a bloater... Or make a decision and then blame the game. That's what gamers do. Like, ov obviously th it's not my fault. <laughs> That's what gamers do. They blame the game. Because gamers are great at everything. Where am I meant to take this? So where when I drive into a, a bloater. Um, and I say that's bullshit. Fuck the game. Uh, that's the game's fault, not mine. I obviously know that it was probably my fault, like 80% chance it was my fault. I just blame the game, because that's what gamers do. We, we don't own up to the shit that we mess up. <laughs> that's not how it works, being a gamer. Every single gamer does it. They make a bad decision and they blame the game. I just wanted to reiterate that. If I, if I ever do it during this playthrough, then... Just so you know... I am fully aware it is my fault. I don't need to be told that it's my fault. <laughs> that doesn't help. That makes it worse. Don't confirm it for me. Okay, let's go to these. I'm going to go to the forward operators if we can. If we can get there on the fuel that we've got. I've like... I mean, we've taken out a play cart, which is good. And we've got some rucksacks. But I've like really fucked the car. And... I don't... Oh, shit. I don't know if I can get over here. Like, why is the map like this? Why can I not just fucking drive across? <laughs> this map is so bad, and I stand by that. Oh, God. Oh, please don't blow up. Are they here? Who's here? Who's this? Is this the... Who? who? A wandering trader. Oh, my God. Do you have gas? I should have just got some from the fucking outpost, to be honest, but... Again, not my fault, the game's fault. Hey not my fault. Nina. What you got? Oh, God. You've got literally nothing useful. Okay, well, I'm gonna take some materials with me, so that I'm, at least I'm not leaving. Ooh! <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Stop shooting me, car! <laughs> Oh my days! I just fucking shit my pants! What are you doing? 
Oh my days, you're having a giggle. Okay, we're gonna have to spawn in another new car. This is not ideal. Okay, I have messed up. Okay, I will admit I have made some difficult decisions. <laughs> difficult, bad decisions. But hey, at least I'm not on lethal. You know, I could be making these decisions on lethal. So, you know, there's always lethal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm just, I'm having a rough day, okay? I've been out, I've been doing things, I've been forced to be social, I'm exhausted, my body hurts, but I have no episodes to go out <laughs> of State of Decay, so I'm forcing myself to record. It's fine, it's fine, it's not that big of a deal. I am just gay, and we overreact. Um, give me one of these. I don't care if I'm going to run out of bloody... Um, influence. I'll get more. I'll get loads of influence. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. We're fine. We're going to be fine. Can I get across over here? I don't think so. I think it's just an entire fucking dip. Which is literally the worst design for a map. Like, why would you put a map with a ravine in the centre that makes you, like, drive all the way around? I hate it. I will shit on this map. I shit on this map. I shit on it, I say. Don't you fucking dare, or as I shit on you. Off we are. You bastard. I do not have the time or the patience today to be dealing with bloaters. No! <laughs> oh, no! I was meant to put the rucksack in. Why would it put my fucking gun in? Again, the game's fault, not mine. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Get fucking wrecked. Give me my bloody crossbow back. I'm like snotting all over the place. I'm not well. <laughs> I'm not well. I don't have any medication, I don't think, to take for my hay fever. I have some painkillers, but I don't think they'll do anything. Because it's all hay fever, like fucking snot and everything. It's not pain. It's, it's mental pain. But not physical pain. At least we've got a car. We've got a car sorted. We could come back maybe. We're probably not going to come back. But we could maybe come back and get that car. I don't know. Uh, maybe once we move base. Because it's quite close to the other base. If we just run down the hill behind the hospital. I should have just gone this way to begin with. I don't know why I went the other way. Trying to get across the map. I should have fucking known that I weren't going to get across. I would also like to point out that the uh, infestation logo is amazing, by the way. Like, they did such a good job upgrading this game and making it feel fresh. Like, I'm not over-exaggerating when I say that it is an overhaul of the game and it does make the game new. It might not for some people, because, like, a lot of people don't really... It's kind of like when a remaster comes out, you know, some people buy it and are happy with that and some people want more and they would rather have like fresh content for example I'm somebody that it kinda depends on what it is um, I think because I was already playing this I will happily welcome like new content and new features but I can understand you know if you played a game like a decade ago and you did everything you could on it then you're not just wanna you know replay that game in HD but this is like whole new whole new logos and every time I talk it sounds weird because my ear is clogged <gasps> oh my days down it listen you've got a gun I've got a crossbow together uh, I can watch you while you kill things oh Oh, I've just cracked my pack. <laughs> oh, that was so needed. Um, sure. No, we're taking you home. I'm not dealing with an infestation. I'm taking you home. Oh, gas can. I don't know if that rams would have made it to here, to be fair. But I think there was a gas can near where we were. I just freaked out and tried to go to the wandering trader and fucked everything. <laughs> Pardon me. I'm popping off. Uh, oh god. <laughs> just every single noise that I could possibly make. I'm just cycling through all the noises. An interactive uh, 
interactive soundboard we've got going on. Get in the car! Where's your home? Behind the infestation. <laughs> of course it is! Okay, well maybe we are going to end up dealing with the infestation then. Okay, question. How much did I upgrade the ammo outpost? It's at two, so we get plus two ammo every day. Why are we only gaining one then? What's using ammo? Nothing. We should have got two. That's... Ah, get off! We should have gotten two. <laughs> Just pulled out of that menu and there's a motherfucker clinging to me door. Holy shit. Right, let's go drop him off. He'll be Gucci. Who's this? Are these the boon traders? They are. Members can be recruited. Fuck it. We're going to recruit a member. Do we need the boon traders? You know, like, realistically? I don't think we do. Okay? I'm just saying my personal humble opinion. My opinion. We don't need them. Get them gone. Where are you? Boony. Boone, boone, boone. Who are you? Dante. Uh, hello Dante. You do business. I don't know about the business, to be honest. Uh, you do craftsmanship. That's an alright one for Judy. Judy, Judy, Bo Booty. Bo Booty. <laughs> oh my days. You can tell that I'm like slowly losing my will to live. Minerva is a fucking cool name. Oh, I might recruit Minerva just based purely on name. <laughs> What's Dante creeping for behind that pillar? <laughs> He's just like, whoo! Okay. Okay. What have we got? Um, I can probably grab a couple of these. Like, maybe two rucksacks of fuel. How are we doing for fuel? Oh, we're actually doing okay for fuel. It's medicine that we're struggling with. Okay, yeah, we don't need the boon traders. We don't need them. Let's recruit uh, Minerva. Because I like her name. Oh my god, it's going to cost me 1,500. So Fine. We want you on our team. Them? Fine. So I'll just cope. I shall just simply die. It will be fine. Okay. Uh, are you in? You're in. Come on down here, let's roll. We've got the forward operators on my lethal playthrough and I'm kind of hoping that I can recruit them on there. It would be cool though to get them on this playthrough as well. They're in an okay situation, like, enclave-wise, I guess, apart from the fact that there's an infestation, like, right on top of where they live. But, I mean, it could be worse. Like, they could be out in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. But they're gonna still be relatively close when we move house. Also, because it's daytime, I managed to find, like, a way to drive up to the hospital from down at the bottom of the mountain. Um, I don't know about nighttime. we might have to go round when it's night, but... I found a little bit of a shortcut, so good news. Good news! I feel like I've hit a whole new level of delusion around, like, bloaters in this game now. I just, I just assume that they're out to get me. They're just out for me. They just, they don't like me. They don't like me. I don't like them. Let's just not converse. Let's not interact with them. It'll be fine. So many rucksacks. Oh, Downey. Thanks, kid. Uh, okay. Yeah, pardon my French, but that order was bullshit. My job is to save the world, not run and hide. Okay, I kind of like Downey. You say so. It would be cool to recruit them as like ex-military turned bandit kind of badasses. What's Stoneheart got to do with it? Oh, wasn't she a former cop? Is that some sort of link? That would be cool. We can create a little bit of story for her. Yeah, she's a former police officer. That's pretty cool. So... She gets a plus 25% standing rewards. That's weird. <laughs> I don't really know what that means. Apparently she's depressed. Probably because she's just left her friends, I would assume. Uh, do you want to change into something a little bit more badass looking? Is this as while playing as Lucy, who's literally wearing like a farmer's wife outfit? 
Literally the weirdest thing that I could have put on her. Have we got anything cool? We could put that on Minerva. There we go. We've kind of got like this theme going on with these three and then there's just Lucy who's trying. Okay, she's trying. So the forward operators have been recruited. Or, um, Later. not recruited, but you know what I mean. They're on our side. They're Gucci with there. us. Get Gucci with it. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, we could try and deal with the infestation, but I'm going to wait until my people are like healed up and stuff because they're a bit of a mess at the moment. Also, there's a play cart opposite the Enclave, which is quite nice, so we can probably deal with the play cart while the Enclave is still present. Um, but I'd like to go back and drop off all of my shit. Um, and then maybe... I don't know if we should upgrade the infirmary or something, because, like... No, I'm not going to upgrade the infirmary. Uh, how much influence do I need to move here? It won't actually let me see. He wants me to move there for the armory. I don't really... I don't really care about the armory situation, I'll be entirely honest. <laughs> we can sort out everything, like, boon related further down the line. For now, I'm, like, purely focusing on getting the play cards done as quickly as possible. Like, I don't... Oh, I think I've just taken wrong turning. I have. I don't even want to, like, think about looting that much. Unless I really, really need it. Like, I just want to... Like, I, obviously, early on, we're going to need to loot. Because I literally start with nothing. Um, but I'm talking for, like... Finishing off, sort of, like, the last five, six, seven play cards. That kind of thing. Um, kind of like I did on the Rebirth playthrough. I hit, like, a certain point where I just had a lot of stuff. And I was able to just grind through the remaining play cards. I kind of want to get to that point again. Where we can just, like keep on plowing through them we've just got like enough survivors to switch out every so often to keep the health up and then we've got like enough weapons and stuff oh not a zombie threat okay right i'm gonna drop my stuff off uh, i apologize that it was like a shorter episode again um but i'm still sort of like finding my grounds with this and like i said i'm not feeling very well um so hopefully tomorrow if i'm feeling a little bit better i will try and record a longer episode I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a little bit all over the place. I had some bad luck and some bad decision making, so I apologise for that. Um, but subscribe if you did enjoy it, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Plague Territories. Bye-bye.